here's how you find a molecular formula. First, you gotta find the empirical formula. Sometimes this will be given in the problem, other times that will be your first step. If you have to find the uh, empirical, you just do that like we did, like we learned how in the other lesson. So, ooh, I'll well, just give you a second there. It'll either be given or you have to calculate it. If you have to calculate it, just like before. Now, once you have the empirical formula, you gotta calculate what the molar mass of that empirical formula is. For example, if we calculate our empirical formula to be C2H2O, then the molar mass of that empirical, well, we've got two carbons, uh, so two twelves, we have two hydrogens, so two ones, and we've got one oxygen, which is 16, so we just add those all up, and we would get uh, that number, and uh, 24, 26, 30, yeah, there you go, 46.0, or 42.0 grams per mole, and once you have that number, the molar mass of the empirical, uh, you will also be given the total molar mass of the molecular formula in the problem. This will always be given. You won't be asked to find the molecular unless you're given this. It's just not possible to do. So that will be given in the problem. So let's just say that you're given that the molar mass of the molecular formula is 168.0 grams per mole. Well, we just figured out that the empirical formula is 42, and it has to be uh, realized that when you have a molecular, it's got to be some multiple. The subscripts have to be some multiple of the empirical. So if we have C2H2O, any multiple of that is a possibility because C4H4O2, C20H20O10, any multiple of that would work. Uh, but this multiple has to add up to 168 grams per mole. So the way we do that is we take that molar mass, the molecular formula mass, and we divide it by the empirical formula mass that we just calculated. So what does that look like? Well, we take the molecular formula mass there, divided by the empirical formula mass, and you get 4. Uh, 168 divided by 42. Now, if you don't get a whole integer number like that, you probably did something wrong. You either found your molecular wrong, or you mixed up your math, or something like that. But that is our multiplier. 4 is our multiplier. That tells us how many times we've got to multiply each subscript. So if we go back here, we've got to multiply each subscript in the empirical formula by that multiplier number that we just came. So this is our empirical formula, C2H2O, so we've got to take that uh, times 4. we got to now take 4 C's, 4 times 2 C's, 4 times 2 H's, 4 times 1 O gives us C8H8. And that is our molecular formula. And if you go back and add up 8 C's, 8 H's, and 4 O's, you will in fact get 168 grams per mole, just like we said we should. The end.